Oh, hey there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to check it out. What's that smell? The party game that stinks from Wowie. This is for two to six players. It'll take you between five and 15 minutes to play. And it's for ages, I don't know, about eight to 10 plus. And what's that smell? The party game. What you're going to be doing is you are going to be smelling things and then trying to guess what those smells are. And whoever's the best at smelling and identifying is going to win the game. There's also some other different ways you can get games by guessing the category of the smell and having a funny memory of the smell. Um, it's a very interesting, out there, different party game, but does it work? Let's open it up, check it out, and whew, hope it's good. All right, then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of What's That Smell? So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. Uh, it's two pages, double-sided, and it's well done. Should have you up and running in no time at all. It's also a really simple game, so I can teach you how to play right now. I also wanna mention that there's an app, which is actually a really useful app that I would recommend downloading if you're playing this game and if you enjoy this game, uh, because it makes the game go a little bit smoother, and it has this really cool concept, which I'll talk about later on uh, ways you can score bonus points. They even say it right here on the little score pad. Look for additional answers in the uh, WTS app, one po bonus point, which I'll talk a little bit about later. But let's go over the components, let's get into the gameplay and how the game works. So in this game, essentially, you are going to be spell smelling between three and six things, then trying to guess what those smells are. If you are the best smeller, then you're going to win the game. Yeah, it's really that simple. So let's go over the components. So component-wise, everyone's going to get one of these little score pads right here. Depending on the number of players you have, you'll know, mark in that number. So one, two, three. We're just going to pretend like we have a three-player game. You put one, two, three there. Uh, right here is where you're going to put your smell guess, where you actually write what you think the smell is. Now over here, you're going to have seven different categories. Tutti fruity, sweet stuff, spice it up, bloom and fresh, smoke factor, all things chemical, and just plain stinky. So even if you can't pinpoint the smell or you have no idea what the smell is, you still want to guess one of these because it's an easy way, a one in seven way, to potentially get one point. Last but not least, we have the smell association where uh, everyone's going to kind of guess. Like you, you smell it and then you say, oh, that reminds me of my aunt who, you know, she's a junker or something. And the funniest one gets two points. We'll talk more about that in pros and cons. So next we got our three of these things. They come with six of them. And if you look at the perfect angle, oh, right there, right there. You can see that there's a one on there and you can see that there's a three on there. These are not nearly as easy as you would like them to be to see. They should have chosen a different color other than black, but hey, that's a minor nitpick. Next, you're going to get the one, three, well, it depends on how many players you're playing with, of these guys. And these are the stars of the show. These are the smell, the smells in the game. Uh, and there's a good variety of smells. I will say, hats off to them. They had a good variety of smells. They didn't choose to stop at like 20. Uh, how many are there? There are 48 mystery whiff cards. So they did their due diligence on providing a good number of these cards. Now I'm going to show you how one looks, and then I'll show you how the game works. So how it looks is really quite simple. You're going to be able to unstick it. It is stuck by a piece of like glue right there, which you're going to want to keep. And <clears throat> here's where you would sniff, which you're going to take a little sniff thing and you would sniff it like this without being able to see the answer. But I want to show you the answer right now. So this would be cut grass. If you put cut grass, you'd get five points. If you put lemon or flowers, you'd get three points. And if you put bloom and fresh as the category, you'd get one point. Now how the app works is you would type in cut grass and then you'd tap on it. And then it might say, all right, if you said uh, olive oil, a bunch of people said olive oil. So you get one point. If you said Barkley, Charles Barkley? I guess Charles Barkley. A bunch of people say that, you get one point. I don't know why Charles Barkley came to my mind. But anywho, let's show you how it actually works. So you're going to give everybody one of these, like so, and then we can start the game. So let's go ahead and let's actually do this. Let's, let's have a little fun here. So I'm going to sniff it up, give it a couple sniffs. Wow, I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Um, we'll guess uh, paper. That's, that's my guess, paper. So uh, then what you would do is you'd put it back in your little thing, and you have a timer, or you, sometimes you might not need the timer. You just pass it to the player on your left, and then the player that was number three would pass it to you. So let's say the player three passed this to me. Let's get a snifferino of this bad boy. Ooh, I think that's baked goods for sure. Um, apple pie? I don't know. Doesn't really smell much of like anything in particular, which is uh, one thing that I'll be talking way more about in the pros and cons. And then let's do number two. 
Ooh, that's a, that's a bad smell. That's a bad smell. It's a pungent. All right. Um, body odor. Sure, we'll guess body odor. So, now let's go back to number one. Uh, I guess it was paper. And my category would be, uh, I guess, just all... I don't even know. The, the s s smoke factor. We'll just guess. It was vanilla. So I get zero points. So that's cool. Zero points for that. Uh, at my association would be the time that I sniff paper or something. I don't know. Let's check out what this one is. Number two was a stable. Yes, yeah, so that smelled pretty bad. That's why I spelled body odor. I did get just plain stinky. I would have guessed that one. Um, manure poop. Uh, I, if I check the app, it might give me a point for body odor. But as it stands now, I'm at a whopping one point for this game. Let's keep on keeping on. And then last but not least, we had, uh, I don't even remember. Oh, I spelled sweet stuff, which was wrong. Wrong, wrong. So I would end this game with one point, and that would be uh, the entire game. Presumably someone would beat me. Now, if you if you were doing the smell association, then you would decide whose is the funniest, and that person would get the two additional bonus points, which, as you saw in this particular game, two of those bonus points would be humongous. Now, so, last but not least, I haven't talked about these cards. We have the With of Shame cards. Da, da, da. And there's four of them. Why am I missing one? Oh, there it is. Uh, and they're in their own special sealed envelope, so that way the smells are not released. Uh, which makes me wonder, like, are these smells eventually going to get released and into the box and into other cards? But these ones are not? Should, shouldn't all of them have baggies? Not quite sure how that works, but hey, whatever. Um, whoever loses has to take three giant smells off of these ones. So we got the diaper blowout, the hot chunky vomit, the smothered in B.O., and the extra old toe cheese. And... These are very hit and miss. Uh, a lot of the times, I'll sniff it and I'll be like, oh, this, this doesn't smell like anything. A lot of times, we'll be like, oh, this smells like gasoline or something else. Or a lot of the times, it just, it'll smell really bad. So let's try it out. Oh, yeah, look at that game. No smells. Nothing. Nothing. Did you see that? That is like me just inhaling. I'm just shoving it into my nose. Scratch it more. Nothing. Now, it does say that you're not supposed to scratch it that much, but when I scratch it once, it also doesn't do it, so I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll scratch it more and does it. Uh, that, that in a nutshell is what you're going to get inside of What's That Smell. Alrighty then, What's That Smell from Wowie. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, uh, the game is very easy to learn, it's very easy to teach, it comes with a really well done app. You know, I don't really have any complaints about the apps, except for sometimes they have these corny jokes, and the corny jokes will run into the, the part where he says, hurry up! But other than that, a uh, very well done app, and I would recommend downloading the app if this game is your cup of tea. I'm going to tell you it's not my cup of tea, but if you really love this game, then that app, I think, is, uh, is very, very useful. And I especially like the fact that they added that extra little ability into the game where, oh, you didn't get it right? Well, you, let's see if you had one of the top answers, because you can still get one point which is really cool. Also, 48 smell sniffs, that's a good deal of smell sniffs, because like I showed you, in that three-player game, you're only going to use three of those things. Whereas in a six-player game, you're only going to use six of those things. So there is a good deal of variability in those smells, and it's the kind of thing where I think you're going to use, you're going to play this game, you're not going to be remembering the smells, is what I'm trying to say here. So if you take the smell, use it in a game, and then put it all the way in the back, and you keep going from the front, I think there will be enough time in between games that you're going to forget what you smelled, you know, say a couple of months ago when you busted this out at a family get-together or something like that, or a party. So that is good as well. I was worried there would not be enough smells, and there is. Also, I do like the concept of the uh, the four smells of death, the doom smells, where if you're the loser, you have to sniff them up, they got the reek of vision, and that's, a, that's all fun! Those are all things that should work with this type of game. They really, they took this type of game, this sort of very light, very casual, very silly, nonsensical game, and they added the kind of things that I think people who are interested in that sort of game would really like, because I know when I want to play a game like this, I like that. I like an app that takes the work off my hands. I like an app that's functional, and I like the corny jokes in the app. I like all that stuff. Uh, the box and search, well done, which I did like as well. <clears throat> Scoring is simple, easy to understand. That's nice. And when the game works, it's enjoyable. 
that's the best compliment that I have for the game. Moving on to the cons, the game doesn't work 90 plus percent of the time. So there are a lot of big issues with what's that smell. It's very light. It's very simple. Um, if you're looking for any strategy, this one is not going to be for you. And I hate the memory association thing because here's the problem. Generally, there's going to be so little scoring in the game because the sniff cards don't work as well as you would like them to that that two points that people are going to be scoring at the if you do the sniff association is big. That's Those are big points. I mean, if you saw the example in the middle where I sniffed and I played a three-player game, I scored one point. One freaking point. So if I get three of those sniff associations just because I'm a naturally funny guy and I write down funny things about each of my answers, then I just picked up six points for being funny and one point for sniffing, which in a game called What's That Smell, that's a problem. Um, yeah, they just, they don't smell pungent enough. And some of them, like, I don't know if the smells kind of like rub together or something like that. Because we played this, the last time we played this, the most recent time we played this, because I played it three times. I played it once with kids, just kids. I played it once with just kids and adults. And I played it once with just adults. I was like, all right, we got the whole gamut. Just kids. Family situation. Game night situation. None of them went over well. None of them went over well at all. Everybody likes the concept of the game. Because it's a great concept. It's a cool concept. But, but, but I'll give you an example. Last time I played this on the game night, we played it four players. And it was... Uh, what was it? It was garlic. It was like, oh my god, this is garlic. 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 Sea salt. Sea salt. I think two people said sea salt. Two people said garlic. We're like, this is some sort of seasoning spice and i really smell garlic like so like, ooh, ooh, i just passed it to me and i was like oh, that's some garlic right there and then it was gasoline and we're like what the hell that's <laughs> what now there is a gasoline card i believe in the game and it's very pungent it's like one of those really like, oh yeah that's gasoline and those are too far in between i would say there's probably you know i may i don't know if i've smelled them all because we like to mix them up and randomize them um i'm gonna guess i'm gonna go there is between 15 and 25% of these that are easy to identify for most people. And then I'd say there's probably another 15 to 25% that are like, you might be able to get them. And then the remaining 70 to 50%, and yes, that was good math, thank you, uh, are, are no. Just no. It's like, I don't know what the hell this is. It vaguely smells like something. I know it doesn't smell bad, and then it'll be like something bad. It'll be like, all right, I don't know anything. Ugh. It just it just does not work. You got to base a game around a gimmick. The gimmick has to work, and if the gimmick doesn't work, the game is bad. It's just that simple. And I, and I normally say that about like '80s games, like '80s and '90s mass market stuff. You know, like stuff like that. You know, because I play a lot of that stuff. You can't look at me. I, I really like gimmick games. I think they're cool. But the gimmick has to work, and the gimmick in this does not work. And then the smell of shame. The sniff is shame. You saw, if you watched the middle part, like, I shoved that thing into my nose trying to smell it, and it didn't smell bad. But then some of them will be like, oh, God, I feel like I'm going to puke the first time. And then sometimes I'll smell it, and it smells really bad, and the next time I'll sniff it, it won't smell bad at all. And then sometimes we'll be like, oh, it smells like gasoline. I don't know. Maybe there's secretly someone going into my house and screwing with me by dousing some of my game components with gasoline. Or maybe this game just sucks. I'm going to go with the latter on that one. Wait, the former? The former? Ladder? I'm going to go with the second choice, because I, I always screw that one up. So in the end, what's that smell? The part again that stinks, you really should not make a tagline like that and then put out a game like this, because obviously this game does stink. It's a bad game. Um, well, we actually talked about this on game night. It was for us. It was like, all right, what price, if you saw this at Target, would you pay? And we got down to one person would buy it just to use it once at a family get-together, and one person would buy it just to have some fun sniffing stuff with their kids, at the $10 price point. That was the number. Um, I don't know how much this game costs. I'm pretty sure it's probably more than 10. I'm going to guess 20. But in the end, what's that smell of the party game that stinks? Is, is not a good game. But what's worse is it's a very disappointing game. And that makes it harder for me to review it because I was very excited for this game. I was. They emailed me about it. I was like, that sounds like a really cool concept for a party game. You know, you don't get to use your sense of smell that often in competitive ways. It, you just don't. It just does not happen. So I was super excited for this, and it was super disappointing. So in the end, what's the smell of that party game? I cannot recommend it to anybody. It's not a good game, and 
Even worse, it's a disappointing game because most people like the concept of this game, but wah, 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 wowie, wah. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. What is something in your life that needs more smelling? For me personally, and actually, I, th this one I actually talked with my son about, actually about a week ago. And I think smell vision needs to be put back into movies. It was in like the 1920s or 30s, a long, long, long time ago. But our technology now is so much more advanced with like IMAX, where it's like, like if there's a gun right here, like you hear the sound right there. But if you could actually, you know, build a theater where the smells could come from different angles, I think that would highly impact movies. Like remember, like boo, 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 like a, an action shooter movie, where after they shoot it, you like, you smell the gun smoke or something like that. Or, uh, or I don't know, maybe it's like an execution scene where it's behind you and somebody gets shot in the back of the head, but it's from the angle of the person in the front so you can smell it from behind you. Or like what I really thought would be cool was if it was in a monster movie and the monster had a very distinctive smell. And maybe like the character would you know, be walking through the woods or walking through some stupid place where they shouldn't be and you, just, you would just smell. You'd smell the thing behind you. Could you imagine the goosebumps you would get if you're watching a horror movie and you knew the monster was there? Not because of anything on the screen, not because of anything you heard, but just because of that sense of smell behind you. That would be so cool! Let me know in the comments below. What's something in your life that needs more smells? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.